I regret not being with you tonight for this important conference to remember Ohi Day, but I'm honored to have been asked to participate and thankful for being able to share a few words to celebrate the courageous stand that the Greeks took against the Nazi regime more than 70 years ago. The Greeks' defiant stand was critical in stopping the advance of the Nazis and safeguarding freedom for the Greek people. Were it not for their brave and costly resistance, the war's outcome may have been different. The Greek resistance was pivotal to winning the war against Hitler, and as we celebrate this triumph for freedom and democratic principles, we are gathered here tonight to honor another great freedom fighter, Berta Soler, and bestow upon Berta the Battle of Crete Award. It is quite fitting that we are in the Organization of American States Building. I hope that one day my native country of Cuba can be nobly represented here when it breaks the shackles of tyranny. Berta is the leader of the Ladies in White, a group of wives, mothers, aunts, and sisters of political prisoners who have fallen victims to the Castro regime in Cuba. They march peacefully to mass every Sunday in defiance of this brutal regime while they advocate for a free and democratic Cuba. These brave women regularly face harassment and beatings by the regime's agents, yet they continue to demonstrate and refuse to allow fear to trample the goal of freedom for the 11 million Cubans enslaved by this regime. This past weekend, the ladies in white were met once again with physical attacks and imprisonment orchestrated by Castro's thugs. For the 15th consecutive Sunday in Cuba, Berta Soler and her group of brave women were denied the fundamental right to attend church services and march peacefully on the streets of Cuba. Despite the threat to her family and to her, Berta has continued to wage the fight for human rights, for dignity, and for freedom for her fellow Cubans, and she inspires us in our efforts to help bring liberty to the island. As all of you know, the word ohi means no. When the Prime Minister of Greece said ohi to the demand that Greece surrender, Greece stood virtually alone in the world against the seemingly unstoppable Axis forces. Consequently, Greece was one of the first countries to defeat the Axis in World War II. Berta Soler exemplifies the meaning of the word ohi as she continues to tell the Cuban dictatorship, no, basta ya. She carries the same spirit of democracy and freedom that motivated the people of Greece to confront their evil Nazi occupiers. Today, we still see many challenges to democratic principles around the world, and we must not waver in our struggle against these. Muchas gracias, Berta, por tu labor y dedicación para traer libertad y democracia a Cuba. Te quiero mucho. Muchas gracias. Thank you.